about 1400 years ago. A man came to this world to show a better way of living life we now know. The message of Tawheed and all that it promotes. The five pillars of Islam, all mentioned in the Quran. One being the holy month of Ramadan. But what is this holy month that comes around once a year except when it does, not all of us will be here? We pray for it. And everything that comes with it, no song lyrics or wrong gimmicks, free of Satan, now we bear witness. Ramadan. The ninth month of the Islamic year. The word literally means to burn the sins of the believer clear. Are you listening? Do you hear? Listen carefully. We read in chapter 2, verse 185, where Allah tells us it was in this month that the Quran arrived as a saviour to mankind, a purifier of the mind. Yet we complain that it's too hard to not eat, too hard to not cheat and too hard to not sleep. Well, let me tell you how you can save your life in this month. Did you know there is a night that is equal to 1000 months? Did you know that the gates of hellfire are shut and the gates of heaven are opened up? But I suppose those benefits aren't good enough. How about the love and bond we feel for each other? We keep the doors of the masjid open throughout the night to pray with brothers. We open our wallets to feed the poor, not because we have to, but because we want to give back more. You know I'm right. You feel it too, right? Brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, this opportunity comes around once a year. Let's not miss this chance. It might be the last one to get closer to our Lord, to try and understand the purpose of our life. Pause. Let's think about that for a minute. Because if we're sinners, what chance do we have when we're wrapped up in white linen? But wait a minute. There's still time to make a change. The kind that rewires your heart, soul and brain. Ramadan. The devil's number one worst enemy did you know that in this month, every good deed is multiplied by 70? Did you know that your past sins can be wiped clean no matter how many we commit? Allah always gives us a chance. Ar-Rahim, the most merciful. All that your Lord commands is to be a trier. So for the next month, let's try to wake up for tahajjud. Raise your hands and cry, O oh Lord! Forgive us for our shortcomings. Allow us to take advantage of this blessed month that's coming. Ramadan.